Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Uh, this is from Mark Slavo's shtfplan.com, which is a, a very good news and information site. Catastrophic power outage poses a profound threat to the U.S. new government report finds. And this is from December 11th, 2018. And I'll read you a little of this and some points I'm going to offer or some theories. You're, many of you are probably going to disagree with me and tell me that I'm full of feces. But let me uh, first read you some of this. The U.S. is not prepared for a catastrophic power outage, according to an alarming new report from the President's National Infrastructure Advisory Council. That's the NIAC. you got to love those uh, alphabets, those government acronyms. The report titled Surviving a Catastrophic Power Outage explains the findings of the Council, which is tasked with examining the nation's ability to respond and recover from a catastrophic power outage of a magnitude beyond modern experience, exceeding prior events in severity, scale, duration, and consequence. Simply put, how can the nation best prepare for and recover from a catastrophic power outage regardless of the cause? Now, we'll go as far as this uh, grim statement that they offer, which is, uh, this is from the executive summary uh, of this uh, report, uh, surviving a catastrophic power outage. After interviews with dozens of senior leaders and experts and an extensive review of studies and statutes, we found that existing national plans, response, resources, and coordination strategies would be outmatched by a catastrophic power outage. This profound risk requires a new national focus. New national focus. Now, friends, I've been thinking about this, and like my, probably many or most of you, I've, I've been expecting an EMP attack. I've been expecting a major hack, a major cyber attack, something that would take our grid down. But consider that that may, that may not happen. We may have temporary outages pockets of outages, but everything being temporary, my new thought process on this is such that I think now, keeping in mind, the beast requires electricity, or I should say relies on electricity. The beast relies on electricity. The beast relies on telecommunications. The beast controls us through the internet, through electricity, through television, through the media. The beast it controls us through our phones, tracks us through Google. The beast uses all of these things as it's building its system before the Antichrist rises, whether he is a man or an AI uh, bot of some variety. So would we really have this catastrophic power outage if the beast uh, uses these uh, tools to its, uh, I should say, its, its, uh, what is the word I'm searching for here? If the beast uses these tools to uh, do its work, okay, that's a weak, a weak, a weak description. I am really fumbling for words. Would there truly be an EMP? Would there be a catastrophic power outage? That's what I was getting at, folks. Uh, are we truly looking for something that may not happen? Because that would take so much power and authority away from the beast if telecommunications and electricity weren't available. Again, I could see pockets. I could see frequent pockets of outages. I could see it, I could see it being taken up and down by the hidden hand for whatever reasons it chooses, mainly to, to stop communication of conservatives, Christians, uh, the enemy in their eyes. But I'll just leave you with that. Would there actually be that catastrophic power outage being that the beast system uh, relies so heavily on telecommunications and electricity. Just food for thought. You can disagree with me. You can tell me I'm full of feces, like I said. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave you a link to this, uh, this very good article here. And uh, I will ask you, please, to check out the links below to my fiction books, The Fortress and Light uh, Parts of the Wayfarer series. There's Home, a Wayfarer story coming next month. Right now it's out of my hands. Uh, you can read Chapter 1. You can listen to Chapter 1 for free. It's all linked below. And as always, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.